Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. Hope life is treating you well on this beautiful Thursday afternoon. And thank you for watching this clip on solving an exponential, exponential equation. Let's get started. When I did this problem earlier, there's actually turned out to be two methods. I only saw one method, but little ponder revealed the second method. Okay, so the first method I thought right away is this. I'm going to rewrite this one by its definition. Okay, and then this one is really just the square root. And then, then I'm going to square both sides. I thought I could take the square roots off. So then I have x cubed is equal to 4. Now don't forget that this, you got to square each one of the terms. So it's a 4 times x. Okay, and then x cubed minus 4 x equal to 0, and then pulling x out, I have x squared minus 4 equal to 0. So therefore, x equal to 0, that's if you set this term equal to 0. For this one, x squared minus 4 equal to 0, you have two solutions, x equal to positive 2, x equal to minus 2. Now since this one is, we had the step here where we square the both sides. Whenever you square something on both sides, chances are you are going to create an extra solution. So the way you're going to do it is you're going to go back and check everything. x equal to 0 obviously fits. It doesn't uh, violate anything on this side. x equal to 2 is fun. x equal to 2 minus 2. However, it's not OK because we can't take a radical of minus 2 over here. OK, so that's method 1. You have x equal to 0 or x equal to 2. A second method. It's actually turned out to be easier. Let me rewrite this one over here. And uh, what we're going to do over here is x cubed radical is equal to 2 radical x. There's a square over here. Recognizing this one is really x times, or if you want it, let's redo it one more step. Okay, This is radical root equal to 2 radical x. So this one gets to be a x times radical x minus 2 radical x equal to 0. I move this one over. Then I have x uh, radical x pulled out. And then I have x minus 2 equal to 0. So x equal to 0 or x equal to 2. And you get the same answer, but it was through a different method. Either way, it's fun. Okay. Now, when you do square something, this is the important part I want to point out. When you do square any time, square on both sides, chances are you all create an extra solution. And it's very important when you have the solutions. Oops, here's my pen. When you have the solutions, go back and check each one of them. All right. Hope it's clear. Once again, from Tucson, Arizona, this is Dr. Pam making learning math fun, at least trying to. If the video has been helpful, I would appreciate a comment or a thumb up. Until next time. Have a confident day.